So of your students that create web series or set out to create them, what do you see as their biggest stumbling block in the beginning? Uh, that's an interesting question. I, I, I think the biggest stumbling block for them is really understanding what kind of a concept you need to support a series as opposed to a single or maybe two or three stories. And um, it's not, it doesn't come as naturally as one might think. It's, it's elusive because we see so many web series, we think, well, it must be easy to come up with these concepts, but it isn't. And, and a lot of times uh, my students do a total of four episodes and with the concepts that uh, don't really have legs, you can feel it by the time you're trying to develop a story for episode three and four that they're huffing and puffing trying to come up with an idea. Interesting. So it sounds like then they come up with these grand ideas, but maybe then there's not longevity. To Some, the sometimes there's not longevity to the idea. Sometimes this is because they're younger writers or they're newer writers, and so they, they don't have the experience. But you know, even among professionals, I, I remember hearing a, a quip from one of the Laverne and Shirley writers that they were uh, celebrating their 150th episode. And one of the writers got up and to make a toast and said, well, we've done 150 episodes. That's almost 75 different stories. <laughs> so they knew they were repeating themselves on a professional television series. So it's a challenge to come up with a different story every week for your characters or every episode.